Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video, we're gonna learn how to download Bing wallpapers from Bing.com using PHP curl and regular expressions. So what I noticed is that Bing has some of the most beautiful wallpapers ever, like you see here, and I wanted to find a way to download those wallpapers. So let me load the browser here, and if we go to Bing.com, They change their wallpaper every day. So this is the current wallpaper they have right now. And the way to manually save this is you just right click on it, go to view page source, and then you search for .jpg and you wanna copy this whole thing here until the this AZ part. And then you wanna copy this URL and then add it onto bing.com just like this. And that will give you the full path to the image. So then you can just save image as to your destination. But of course, we are smart, clever techies. So we're going to create a script that does this for us automatically. And then all you have to do is just run the script and you'll have a new wallpaper every day. Okay, let's go ahead. And let's go ahead and get started on this. Going to go ahead and create a new project and name it bing download and then I'm gonna specify the source directory and change the project URL okay project URL is correct and let's create a file I'm gonna name it bing download okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be using curl which stands for client URL and just to refresh our memory real fast there's uh, there's four steps on running the curl so first we initialize it with curl initialize function then we set the options and we set the, the uh, URL with curl opt URL so that's pretty straightforward and instead of Google ours is gonna be bing.com and then we execute the actual query and that will um, output the content to the screen and then finally, we're gonna close the curl resource. So let's go ahead and do that first. Okay, so the URL is gonna be bing.com and make sure to provide HTTPS because they use a secure transfer protocol. Then we're gonna say curl handle equals curl initialize and then set the curl set opt of our curl handle to curl opt URL and set the URL which is bing.com. Now the next option we're gonna set is called curl opt SSL verify peer and that's a necessary option because we're using the HTTPS protocol and we're gonna set that one to false because we don't want it, the uh, curl to verify it and make sure you use that, otherwise it's not gonna work with the HTTPS protocol. Another function or option that we're gonna set here is curl opt return transfer, return transfer, and we're gonna set that to true. And basically what this does is instead of outputting all the data to the screen, we're gonna be able to uh, save the data inside of a variable. So we're gonna say content equals curl execute, which executes the actual curl handle, and then ch, and that will save all the content to inside of the content variable. So let's go ahead and see if everything worked. Gonna first set the browser to Chrome here, and then run the script. Okay, so it's loading Bing homepage. Now let's go ahead and get that uh, URL that we're going to be matching by going to view page source and then we're just going to search for the JPEG and this is the actual uh, URL that we're going to be matching here so you want to copy this part and then just uh, save it inside of the file somewhere in here I'm going to comment this out just so we have it as a reference so we know what we're going to be matching Okay, now let's go ahead and actually uh, specify the folder 
the destination folder where we're going to be saving the file. So mine is going to be at e favorites one all papers bing.com. And it's going to be this destination here. Okay, so now we're ready to use regular expressions to match the actual URL. And I have a cheat sheet for regular expressions, so if you guys can, if you guys want to refresh your memory, you can go over this real fast. But we're just going to be using a very basic regular expression match here. So let's use pragmatch function. Okay, so this part is always going to be the same az hp pricing bg rb and the jpg those parts are never going to change so we can use it inside of our regular expression the only part is going to change is the file name so by knowing that we can say az hp uh, rick bg rb and then we're going to say match everything until that jpg so that will just match any file name inside of this these parentheses and then gonna provide our content which is actual content of the website and we're gonna store everything inside of the image match array so let's go ahead and print out the match array and see what it looks like so far image match Actually, we're going to comment out this content here so it doesn't get printed out. Okay, so let me go to view source. Okay, as you can see, it put the, the whole URL inside of the zero numeric array and the file name is inside of the one. So we're going to need both and uh, we're ready to work with the file name now. Okay, so the next thing, let's go ahead and save these inside of our variables. So for the image URL, we're gonna use, we're gonna um, put it on top of our Bing URL to uh, create the whole, to create the full image URL. So we're just gonna use concatenate, image, match, and we're gonna use zero, since that's where the whole URL is stored. and then for the file name, we're going to use image match one which is just the part of the file name, and we're also going to add on the JPG part at the end to get the full uh, file name. So that's our file name, and that's our full image URL. So our safe path is going to be the safe folder plus the image name which will give our script the full destination of the image that we want to save. So let's go ahead and create a variable called save path and save folder concatenate image name. Now let's go ahead and print out save path to see that we have a full save path. Refresh the script and now we have our full save path where the image will be saved. Okay, so that's ready to go. So now that, now that we have our image URL and we have the full destination path of where to save the file, what we got to do now is initialize another curl request to load the actual image URL into the script. And for that, we're going to initialize curl again. And then set opt. And this time we're going to set curl opt URL to our image URL. We're also going to set curl opt header to false because we don't need any header information with a file. We're also going to set the set opt ch return transfer. set it to true and we're also gonna set the SSL verify peer to false as well because we're still loading the 
HTTPS protocol. Verify peer, false. And here's the last part that we really have to set is gonna be binary transfer. We wanna set it to true because this time we're gonna be working with an image which is a binary resource instead of text. Okay, so you wanna make sure to set this option here to curl opt binary transfer. You wanna make sure to set it to true. And then we want to save everything inside of a variable called binary data. I'm going to say curl execute ch and then close curl resource. Now if we opt, uh, if we echo out the binary data, we're going to see a bunch of um, alien symbols. Watch this. Okay, so that means that we're getting the actual image. And um, the reason it's being uh, outputted in this way is because, well, we're not supposed to be printing out binary data to the screen. We're supposed to be saving it to the, to the um, wh whatever. Uh, we're supposed to be saving it to the file because it's not a text. And that's what it means for a file to be binary. And that's, uh, that's the reason we're using binary transfer and we're setting it to true. So now that we have our file, the actual image, this represents the actual image. We're now ready to save it. Okay, so let's go ahead and first check if the file already exists. If file exists, and that's our save path is a full uh, destination to the file. And if it already exists, we're gonna go ahead and delete it. And if it doesn't exist, we're gonna go ahead and say, we're gonna use a function called fopen and use the full file name path and then set this value to x and basically what it is is just um, create an open for writing only. So this tells the script to write the file to the hard drive and not do anything else to it. Then we're gonna use a function called fwrite, provide a file handle, and finally our binary data, which is the actual image. And then we're gonna close the file handle, uh, fh. And now if we run the script, we should see the image downloaded right here in this folder. So let's go ahead and refresh the script. And as you can see, the image has been downloaded, so everything worked. And that's how you download Bing wallpaper using PHP curl and regular expressions. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.